Kenya is currently facing a shortage of around 10,000 professional engineers. Professional engineers are responsible for the design, implementation, and supervision of major infrastructure projects in the country and both in the government and in the private sector. We have two bodies, that is IEK and the Engineers Board of Kenya, which is responsible for registering professional engineers. After so many years of study, an engineer is required to be registered by IEK and the Engineers Board of Kenya. After securing that dream job, after so many years of study, an engineer is required to register with both the IEK and the Engineers Board of Kenya. So I'm going to take you through the requirements for registration with both IEK and Institute of Engineers of Kenya and the UK. We have different categories of engineers. We have aeronautical engineers, electrical engineers, civil engineers, mechanical engineers, and other categories of this professional that is uh, uh, attractive and well-paying, especially in Kenya. IEK requires that engineers get registered after graduation. Also the same case with the EBK. EBK stands for Engineers Board of Kenya. IEK stands for Institute of Engineers of Kenya. We can start with the IEK. IEK registers engineers as early as when they join campus. Uh, under the category of student engineers this, that is a very easy 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 part where that they don't require so much documents for me for you to get registered so after graduation what you need to do now is register as a graduate engineer and all you are required to do is present your certificates a passport and id your documents must be certified by uh, uh, a magistrate or uh, commissioner of all. So after that, they register you and you pay around 1,500 shillings. That's the registration fee. And later you wait for two to three weeks and you are later given your number as a registered graduate engineer with IEK. The other body that is mandatory for you to be registered as a professional engineer is the EBK, Engineers Board of Kenya. The Engineers Board of Kenya requires your certificates, your transcripts, your ID, and all those documents must be satisfied by a commissioner of all. So after that, the EBK board of Ilya sits down and satisfy your certifies your documents and ensures that you you have graduated from a recognized institution. So after that what they do, they give you your EBK number and register you officially as a graduate engineer pending the approval for the professional engineer. These two bodies offers you training, mentorship and webinars that are very, very good as they prepare you to be a professional engineer. So it is very important for you to be registered with these two bodies. This is Fondinia and see you in the next video. Thank you.